Hi guys, this is Miss Jamie from the Twin Rivers branch and today I'm going to show you how to make a Pokemon themed craft. This craft, you will need a plastic bottle of any kind. This is from Sparkling Water. <laughs> you can use a soda bottle. Need some paints. Some paint brushes. And a small plant because what we're doing today is turning this water bottle into a Bulbasaur planter. So you will take your water bottle to start out with and use a marker to draw Bulbasaur's head basically right onto the bottle. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're cutting this out anyway. Kind of like that. And then I'm gonna make it go around the back. Just like that. That big enough? I would say so. So the next step you might need a parent for, but you're gonna carefully cut this bottle. You, if you can't do it with the scissors, ask a parent to use a knife. that will happen. <laughs> okay. Yay! I got it. <laughs> Carefully gonna stick my scissors into this hole I just created so I can cut it easily. So now we're down to here. We're going to cut to our Bulbasaur head. Oh, goodness. Careful not to cut yourself on the plastic because it can happen. I have done it before. And they're starting to come together right there. So next step, you're gonna have to take your paint. This seems to be the exact color you want, but if you don't have this kind of color or can't find it anywhere, you can just mix together blue, green, and a little bit of white to get the shade. This will be our first base coat type of thing. And I'm going to use my sponge brush to do it. Because if you do a sponge brush, it gives you a little bit of texture too. Nice and thick. Excuse me. Put this shade green. 
Ana şimdi. Pretty sure Goose is dropping food on the floor. Mr. Goose, what are you doing? Don't make a mess. to drill a hole at the bottom for drainage. Yeah. Or are you gonna um, make a terrarium ish a little well, and put some rocks at the bottom? I think I might make a terrarium ish because it's a little easier to take care of that way. Mm -hmm. And there's drainage. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, watch my other video on terrariums. It's quality. <laughs> was filmed in front of the cat audience. Yeah. They didn't seem that interested though. <laughs> the only one was not. Yeah, nothing wrong with it. You could probably do this with any Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, you could easily make this like a Pikachu planter. I bet that would be really cool. Yeah, with the tail. Yeah, that'd be awesome. But the whole point is, you know, just recycling. Upcycle. Upcycle. And Bulbasaur has a flower and yeah. on his back, so <laughs> I guess that makes more sense. It makes a lot of sense to do it with Bulbasaur. I personally like Bulbasaur a lot. I mean, I also like Squirtle a lot, but I guess a good one would be like Oddish. Oh yeah, Oddish would be a good one to do. And I bet some of the newer ones too would probably be good. Like Turtwig, it'd be more of a turtle. Mm. dry after I touch it up a tiny bit. <laughs> Make sure you get the edges because the paint, the marker is yeah. dark. You might want to do the interior of it. Yeah. I think it looks fine. Okay. So we'll let that dry. So our first coat is done, all dried up. But I think I might do another coat just to make sure this doesn't look very spotty. Mm -hmm. And opaque. Opaque. Yes. Not see-through. You don't want to see through these. On the bottom is fine, but you can sort of see through it if you look, hold it up to the light. So I'm going to do that.
we're gonna let that dry for maybe half hour. Make sure. <laughs> we have a dry little pot now. So the next step would be drawing on our detail or painting on our detail. Both really. <laughs> so I'm gonna start by using a pencil to draw my face for a bowl. Just to have like an idea of where I want to put these. That's all. And then we'll move on to more paint. <laughs> basically scraped a little bit of the paint as a guideline off and now we're going to take paint to it <laughs> one of my smaller brushes And trace the marks I made before. Said in other videos, your lines don't have to be perfect. But I'm very particular about this kind of thing. But that's just me. So there's our black. It's not too shabby, huh? <laughs> so we have our face all good to go. We're gonna add some final touches with some dark green because Vulpsor has some spots. Some... Can't do this with one hand. <laughs> We're going to do that with a small brush. I like the shade of green too. These are really nice paints.
No, Miss Kira. Huh. What is your favorite Pokemon? Hmm. <sighs> um, Vulpix. Yeah? Why is that? Because it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I like a lot, all the original starters. Yeah, they're all very good. I had the first Pokemon game. That's how old I am. Pokemon Blue. And I think I had a Bulbasaur. Hmm. Or a Squirtle. I don't remember. Didn't you have Pokemon Yellow as well at one point? I did. Yes. Pokemon Blue was first, and then it was so exciting because you could get Pokemon Yellow and Pikachu followed you around everywhere. The first Pokemon game that I finished myself was Pokemon Sapphire. Yeah. So, I'm proud of that. <laughs> and what's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is Kyogre. From Pokemon Sapphire. Because <laughs> that was the very first legendary Pokemon I caught by myself. And I was very proud of it. <laughs> I don't think I ever finished Pokemon Blue or Yellow. I don't think you did either. No, because I couldn't get through the Safari. That's farther than I got whenever I tried playing your game. I didn't get past the first uh, forest at all. Maybe that was it. I don't think I ever got Surf. Pokemon's a tough game if you don't cheat. <laughs> it's not a tough game, you just gotta try playing it more, mm, I think. I'm just bad at video games. Eh. Did you watch Pokemon the series? I did. I did too. I was super into that. Mm. I know that Pokemon's still going on, and there's so many more Pokemon than when we were kids. <laughs> 150. One. I don't even know how many there are now. A lot. A lot. <laughs> be cool if someone tell me how many there are, because without looking it up. <laughs> Yo, you looking pretty good. Mm. Gonna let it dry. I'm gonna let it dry before we put some dirt in here and plant our plant. But in the meantime, what did you put on the plate? In the meantime, I'm going to turn this into a Pokeball, because why not? <laughs> what is that? So this is a water globe. So if you stick it into your plant, it will water itself for a little while. So you don't have to worry about watering it yourself. You can find these at like Home Depot or Lowe's or like any like hardware store. I think we got that one at the dollar store. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah. Or at the dollar store too. So like any shop that has like plants. Or maybe uh, AC Moore or Joanne. Not AC Moore, that doesn't exist anymore. Joanne or Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Anywhere you can crafts. They're, they're not too expensive either. But we're gonna paint this one. I think it might be a little too big for our planter here, but that's okay. <laughs> It's a little thick, <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna start with my white because a Pokeball, is, a standard Pokeball, is white in red. You're gonna do the whole thing white? Yeah, I'm thinking good. Get in there. <laughs> it became cloudy, so you got brighter. Wow. 
You're not the shadow princess anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Is that a Legend of Zelda game? A Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess. You're the Twilight Princess. I like that game. <laughs> Another Nintendo invention. Mm hmm. Do you play Pokemon Go, Miss Jane? I do. It's fun. Sometimes. Sometimes? But, well, where I live right now, where we live, <laughs> not a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Only bug types. Bug types and like normal types and not very exciting. And I still have not caught a Kyogre on Pokemon Go yet. Where can you find one? Well, usually in like events and stuff. But the only events that I've had gave me a Groudon. Aww. Same generation, not the worst Pokemon. Aww. Which is sad. Not on the top. Looks good for a first coat. Yeah. I think we're only gonna do it to there. Huh. You don't want to affect the plant. No. So I'm gonna let that dry. And we'll come back to it. Uh-oh. <laughs> need like some foam or something. Okay. We're gonna let this dry. So, our planter is dry and complete. How cute is that? Very. So, we're gonna turn this into a little terrarium with my leftover <laughs> terrarium stuff. <laughs> Such is life. Okay. Some river pebbles, stones first. drain properly. I'm gonna put a little bit of my dirt. Now we're gonna carefully take my plant out of the pot. in there and carefully fill it up with more soil. so myself. <laughs> 
and not hard at all. Not actually a very cute gift if you want to give it to somebody. I mean, I'm sure anyone who would like Pokemon would like this. Mm. And you can just make it from a water bottle or a soda bottle. Mm. I bet a soda bottle would be bigger. Yeah, but that's something I also thought of. You could also just make it from a plastic cup. Yeah, a Duncan cup. <laughs> but there you have it. <laughs> gonna continue this Pokeball water globe. <laughs> so we're gonna need our red. And I'm going to try to make the top half of this red. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to start that by doing, splitting it in half like that. Try to get a line in the middle. This Dunkin' Donuts cup is very helpful <laughs> to keep it upright. So if you have like takeout uh, cup, that would probably work very well. So from my line, paint up. Pokemon ice cream and they have a master ball pokeball sundae and so that, or you can get all the pokeballs in a box and they're filled with ice cream oh man I need to go to Japan yeah. instead of those like baseball hat bowls <laughs> they have the pokeball that's awesome and they have Pokemon flavors they have like little chocolate Pikachus instead of chocolate chips what? I need to go to Japan. Me too. Let's Jeez. go. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. This is fine. Pause. We have our dry red now. I did a little bit of a touch up second coat. It looks pretty good. So next step we're going to do is making a black line around the middle and the circle that looks like a button to paint over the red in the middle of that circle so it looks proper <laughs> what it's like supposed to look like okay for our white And there your 
we have it. <laughs> so once this dries, you can fill this up with water and it will water your plants after you stick it in to any of your plants. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little big. Gotta catch up with Pokemon. 